All right, so we have this equation and we want to find the slope and it says by finding the limit of the secant slopes. So basically what that means is I'm going to use my formula. So that's my secant. But then I'm going to go through and do the algebra and cancel out h's so I can let h approach zero. And I want to do that, that at this point. So basically at that point, I want to know what the slope is. So I can do a little extra step here, and where I see x, why not just go ahead and plug in 3, because that's what x equals. Then I take my equation, and I rewrite it, x squared, where you see x, plug in 3 plus h. So x squared minus 4x, where you see x plug in 3 plus h, minus 3. So this is actually only that piece. So now I need to plug in 3. Well, if you think about it, f of 3 is when x equals 3, what's y equal? They give me that. If they didn't give it to you, you'd actually plug 3 in here. You get 9 minus 12, negative 3, negative 3, and negative 3, negative 6, all over h. All right, now it's just algebra time. Let's FOIL this first piece. So I square the first term. I take 2 times 3h, and I square the last term. So that's just FOIL. I'm going to distribute that 4, negative 4. So negative 4 times 3, negative 12. Negative 4 times h, negative 4h. And then, of course, I have the minus 3. This negative and a negative gives me a plus 6, and this is all over h. If you've been paying attention in class, and I know you have, right? I said your numbers better cancel. If your numbers don't cancel, you did something wrong. So let's see if they cancel. I have 9 minus 12. All right, got to use your fingers for that one. Negative 3 plus another negative 3 would be negative 6, plus a positive 6, guess what? Hallelujah, all my numbers cancel. So I'm left with only my terms in terms of h. I factor out an h on the top for the sole purpose, uh-oh, that needs to be a 6, thinking ahead of myself. So I factor out an h, I'm left with a 6, plus h minus 4. This is the big hoopla. I want to be able to cancel that. So it so nicely cancels. So from here, I say, well, let's let h approach 0. So it looks like 6 minus 4, 2. Well, remember what this is. This is the slope. This is the slope at the point 3, negative 6. So that's the first question that the lab asks you, okay? A lot of times I will just ask you to find an equation um, of the line, but that's their first thing they ask you to do. But now they say find the equation of the line, so you use your point-slope formula. I just found my slope is 2. I'm given that y is negative 6, well, negative and a negative, positive 6. And then I'm given that my x is 3. So from here, I need to solve for y, so my math lab's happy. So I distribute the 2, so 2x minus 6. Now I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides, and I get y equals 2x minus 12. And there's my answer. Congratulations to me. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you burning the pizza? Uh, okay. Okay. Select all given an equation and 
point find the equation of the ten tangent line at that point by finding slope using point slope form. <laughs>